so today i'll show you how to export gifs the best way possible from after effects i know this is a very very difficult task and people just starting out suffer a lot from this because it's not very intuitive to export a gif from after effects and if you export a gif using the media encoder the file size is way too heavy for you to use it anywhere so today we'll learn how to do that the most efficient way with limited file sizes and you will be able to have finer control on what you do and what you export so let's get started so we have opened up after effects and uh, i have already made a very short and basic animation of this ball bouncing as you can see yes and uh, we will export this to a gif and we'll try getting this done in 1 mb itself so mind you you will require photoshop for this as well because that is the application which lets you export gifs in the most efficient way so before we start with exporting this video i would just like to point out that this video is made in 60 fps but for better optimization for gifs i would highly suggest you export in 24 fps or maybe 12 fps if it permits you it gives you a very unique look but and i i think the people are going for that look nowadays so we can do that so i'll just change the composition settings and make this 12 fps and if you see the timing change a little bit and uh, you are facing any problem just go ahead and clear create a new adjustment layer and uh, put the effect post rest time on this and uh, make the frame rate to 12 so if there are any you know unusual timing issues and all that this should fix it but we are not having any issue because this is a very simple layer so we'll go ahead and export this right now we'll go to export and add to media encoder queue and our media encoder should show this project up yes it's here and now we'll go ahead and export this into the mp4 format so we'll go to h.264 match source hybrid rate i will set it to adaptive hybrid rate because that reduces the bit rate a little bit and that helps here so i think everything else looks fine we are at 12 fps bitrate is fine everything we'll just go ahead and export this it's exported guys now we, what you need to do is go and open up photoshop we'll just do that so we have opened up photoshop now just go to file import and video frames to layers now we go to our project folder where we have exported this video this composition one so click on this and click on open once this pops up you just click on okay and you'll be able to see all your frames over here right now we'll just go and file export and save for web once you do that this is the screen that will pop up so here you have a few options to tweak the quality and the size of the video So here the GIF it's showing that it's a 400 KB GIF. So we plan to do it under 1 MB. This is under 500 KB. So you can see how efficient this is. I will also show you a comparison if we directly export it from Media Encoder. So let's just look at the settings we can change over here. So you have this colors option. So if you have less colors on your video, you can reduce the setting and this will significantly reduce the file size. As you can see here, a 400 KB GIF has been reduced to 310 KB. but since 400 kb works for me i'll go with 256 and here also you have options for perceptual selective adaptive and restrictive generally selective is a good balance between quality and file size so i this is this is the general option i go with but you can play around and see what works for you the best if you want more quality or maybe if you want less size you can compromise with the quality over here and here you can change the size of the video so that you get less of file sizes so you can directly go ahead and type 800 and that will change the size of the video it takes a while yes now you can see it's 200 to 24 kb but we will go with our original size of 1200 and once you're done adjusting the settings here you just go ahead and click on save and go to your project wherever you want to save it and just hit on save it'll take a while and it should be done now let's see how that looks this is the gif we exported see for a 500 kb gif this looks great right 
Now let's hop on back to After Effects and see how it works if we export directly from inside of Media Encoder. So now we go to Media Encoder and go to Animated GIF with transparency and without transparency we have two options and we just go ahead and export it. Now it's exported. Now let's see what is the size of this thing. Now this 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 is the one we just exported from Media Encoder. As you can see, the size is 526 KBs. Now for smaller GIFs with transparent backgrounds, the size may be less, but for a complicated GIF with different colors and all that, voting from inside of Media Encoder increases the size significantly. For example, if you do a GIF which is like maybe heavy in colors and Photoshop exports it in under 1 MB, Media Encoder might end up exporting it in 10 MB or maybe 20 MB. That's the kind of difference we're talking about. But for this one, since it was a transparent background and only the ball moving, this exported in quite a lot of sizes. So there's a tip for you here as well. If the GIF is really, really simple, you do not have to go into Photoshop and export it. You can directly do it from Media Encoder and see if this size works for you. So yeah, this is basically it. These are all the ways you can export GIFs efficiently in, from inside of After Effects. And this will help you out. This is the best ways I've talked about and I've given you some tips as well. So if you like this video, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. This has been Satyajit. See you in the next one.